right now at 440. The KES First Warning Weather Center. Here's meteorologist Maddie Kirker. Thank you, Jessica. Yeah, we're going to transition from uh, hurricane season to severe weather. And yet again, for the fourth Thursday in a row, we have to watch out for some strong to severe storms as we head through late this afternoon and into this evening. The entire viewing area is under a level one out of five thread for seeing severe weather. Now that doesn't mean that we're not going to see severe weather. There's still going to be that chance. And I want to show you coming to the breakdown of what kind of severe weather we may see later on today. Damaging winds, heavy rainfall, large hail, all a possibility and our greatest threats for today. Now tornado threat is not zero still a possibility. It's just not as high as what we had last Thursday. So there is some good news for us here at this four o'clock hour in the morning. I do want to break it down even further for you because a lot of kids have after school activities. Maybe you have some plans later this evening as it is going to be another warm day. This is your early heads up that after five o'clock it'll be fair game to watch this line of thunderstorms move through. So if you want to be out and about, do some yard work, definitely try to get that done early today because the later you wait, the better the chances for showers and storms will be across the region. Satellite and radar picture. This is typical for this time of the morning. We watch as a very strong line of thunderstorms rolls through. It moves east and then it kind of falls apart. That, of course, also due to the fact they're running into the mountains. So uh, we are seeing that uh, line of storms kind of falling apart this morning. It will regenerate itself, though, the later we get into the day. So if you want to be out and about today and enjoy that warmth, it's still going to be a nice afternoon. Take a look at 1 o'clock today, a mix of sun and clouds. You may be thinking to yourself, where are the storms? Well, here we go. After about five o'clock, as I mentioned, fair game to watch this line of showers and storms begin to roll through our western locations. The closer you are to I-95 and up towards the peninsulas for the south side of Hampton Roads right around seven o'clock this evening, including the eastern shore and portions of the Albemarle. Eight o'clock still hanging around. And then what I think happens is the front moves in, enters a lot of moisture. So we'll just watch as the showers begin to develop. So it'll be a rainy night for us. But as we wake up tomorrow, Tomorrow morning around this time, showers will be exiting. We will see lots of sunshine too as we go through our Friday. Just remember, tomorrow is going to be cooler than what we're expecting out there today. With that said, let's get to your seven day forecast. And again, for this evening, yes, you'll see 80% chance, but that's after five o'clock today. So most of the day is dry. For tomorrow, we will have clearing skies. It will be cooler. Highs will be in the upper 60s. Now, as we jump into the holiday weekend, I do think we'll have more clouds and sunshine on Saturday, maybe some spotty showers. But by Easter Sunday, yes, it'll be cooler. So heads up with that. Latest model trends are showing that, but looking to be dry. Next rain chance will move in as we head towards Monday and Tuesday.